How you doing everyone? We're going to do our third knife review on our channel today and to make it more interesting I put three knives in my bag. Uh, Megan who's my camera operator and daughter uh, doesn't know what three knives are in there but she's going to pick which one we're going to review today. So you ready to see what your choices are Meg? Yeah. Two, and number three, a Timber Rattler, a Gerber, a Sawback Machete, I believe this is, and a Bobcat Kukri Bowie. <clears throat> so it's up to you which one we talk about today. I think this one. Uh, this one? The Bobcat? Yeah. All right. And, uh... Funny, that reminds me, my friend Donovan Two. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but a shout out to him, uh, Donovan. I love your YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen him, you got to check him out. He's got a mind blowing collection of knives. Every time you think you've seen every knife out there, he'll show you another one that you've never seen before, and it's amazing. But uh, he just gave us a look at this knife a couple days ago. And so I guess it's fitting that Megan chose this one. This is for from Bobcat. And mine's not perfectly clean, but this is, I think they might market this as a Kukri. Um, it's, I think it's more of a hybrid between a Kukri and a Bowie knife because most Kukris will have a drastic slope downward. This one just has a gentle downward slope. And, uh, I don't know, this one also kind of just reminds me of something uh, almost fantasy, like an uh, uh, elven type of a weapon from Middle Earth or something like that. But this is D2 steel. Uh, I believe it's probably, it's at least 3 sixteenths of an inch thick at the spine. Um, it's definitely not a quarter inch, but it's it's a good solid thickness, maybe a little over 3 sixteenths. And... Uh, it's got a sharp edge on it. I think I've only used this like once and it did fine, uh, but I've mostly hesitated to use it because it's so pretty. Um, the handles, I know Donovan in his video just said what the handles are made of. can't remember if it's G10 or something, but like I do with most of my knives, I've got some athletic tape wrapped around just to give it a little bit better grip and reinforcement and everything, but the handle on this is great. And... Uh, I guess we'll mess around with it a little bit. If I didn't already say, it's made by a company called Bobcat. And also, I learned from Donovan that that's a South African company, which is cool. I didn't know that before I saw his video today. So, uh, let's see. Why don't we do a little splitting? We'll split this piece of wood and then maybe do a little bit of chopping. See how we how this baby batons. That's good solid wood right there, but not too much problem getting through it. We'll go through one more time. <clears throat> problem. This will probably be too easy. I'll chop this one up. <clears throat> Look at that bite. going through quickly. Oh, that's it. 
So, obviously this bobcat kukri buoy has no problems chopping whatsoever. And you can baton it as well. D2 steel. Like I said, it's pretty to look at. Um, this was a Christmas present this past Christmas from my wife. So, thank her for that. And... Is there anything else we need to say about this blade, Meg? Don't think so. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this week. The Bobcat Kukri Buoy. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.